What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. I'm here in LA. It was a last second decision with Anthony and Dave. Hey. He's making his pre-workout meal. Three rice cakes and almond butter. I'm doing the same with banana. You having a banana with it or no? Yeah, he is. A honey. Exactly, a little bit of honey as well. So that's an amazing pre-workout meal. Three rice cakes, banana, honey. So I didn't bring any creatine. Luckily they have this six star Walmart brand fucking creatine. This is honestly, What's that? Cursing? Fuck! Good thing I don't even have fucking 1K subs yet. Mm. See, this is pretty much the only six star product I would take. The shit's garbage. I think they got caught for amino spiking back in the day. Their protein, so. All right, here it is right here. Tasty ass pre-meal. I like to eat the banana separate. As you can see, some people put the banana on the rice cake. Why do you do that? You like the combo? I like the better taste, yeah, for sure. I don't like it that way, but... Uh... All right, after the pre-workout meal, now it's time to make our actual pre-workout. Dave, what do you think of this camera I'm using right here? I mean, it looks vintage, so it's nice. Autofocus isn't the best, even though it's tracking my face. But if it is in focus and you are recording in 4K and the lighting is decent, the image can be quite stellar, but that's a unique set of circumstances that can't be hit on a mm -hmm. precise, consistent basis. This is his camera. All right, so this has been the go-to pre-workout stack lately. Two scoops of uh, Mode, one to two scoops of Nitric. Uh, this Gorilla Mode AR, which is L-carnitine, L-tartrate. Sometimes I take one Gorilla Mind Rush, sometimes not. Thorn Elite AM and Thorn D3K2. Now, I was just sitting out in the sun, so I'm not sure if this is required today, but I may take a small dose. Anyways. Yes, sir. Should I take this girl of mine rush today? Small Ooh. dose? I'm thinking one. Do you want any? I'm all right. I'm gonna take one. All right, so we have a broken camera. Unreal. All right, so we have one girl of mine rush, three carnitine, and two of the thorn multivitamin. We wash it down with the mode. focus going on there. Not the most amount of room in the sewer, but we'll we're making it work. Where's your mask, big dog? Right, we're here at Zoo Culture. I trained here yesterday for the first time. My first impression was it's a lot smaller than it seems, but it's a nice gym, a lot of nice equipment. So I hit upper body yesterday, mostly just dumbbell press. We're warming our back up. We're gonna barbell bench press a little bit. I'm gonna hit mainly back and arms. I think he's hitting a full push day. So that's the plan right now. As well as rolling out. Some people say foam rolling doesn't work at all, which I completely disagree with. They make the claim that it doesn't fix any injury or it, there's no long lasting effects, which is definitely true. But when you roll out correctly, you can release adhesions, tight tissues, lengthen the tissue, which allows you to get a better range of motion or get a better positioning or movement pattern during the session. So it's, it's a good prep movement to actually do the work that you need to do in the correct fashion. That's my opinion. Listen, 
I'm pretty, I think it was an exercise or two I didn't film, but for the most part we got it done and uh, it's pretty good, pretty decent. And uh, now I think we're heading probably to Sweet Green, which is essentially like roots, just a natty kitchen, super clean, everything's organic, definitely good. Yesterday was my first time there and I fucking loved it. And yeah, let's go back and I'll show you what we get. Well, as you can see, Sweet Green number one is closed for walk-in for some reason. So I think we're going to try to I think we're gonna to try to Uber to the next one, the next closest one. Hi, uh, can I get a custom bowl with just a little bit of spinach as the base? But I'll take as much rice and quinoa as you're willing to give me. Thank you. And then I'll do sweet potato, please. I'll take lentils, please. I'll take the black beans, please. So in this $24 bowl, we have blackened chicken, salmon, rice, quinoa, lentils, goat cheese, spinach, cilantro, avocado, sweet potato, and I believe that is everything I got. So. All right, next meal here after sweet green, we have a full organic meal, grass-fed ground beef, sweet peppers, and black rice. This black rice is awesome. It's straight out of Thailand. It's got anthocyanin, which is the antioxidant that makes blueberries blue, and just some extra minerals. So it's just a more nutrient-dense rice. It's a good change of pace, and also tastes good. And I'm basically sitting here editing this video while eating this, and we're gonna call it a day right there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm definitely trying to bring more value in future videos teach you guys valuable knowledge that you can carry with you forever to use to benefit yourself so yeah drop some comments below on specific videos you would want me to make and i will do the ones i want to peace out